Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Sunday night. We are a little bit early as I report to you from behind this plastic microphonic device, but that's okay. It's all right to be a little bit early as we await the markets to open up in a mere nine minutes or so, eight minutes now, and then we will certainly take part in Greetings, the activity. Members, one and all of this to make sure the thing was working, and it is very all right. So welcome, and we have Benny Barker is here first on this live stream. Donald in New Mexico thought he was first, but hey, he was quick on the draw still, because I was a little bit early. Threw him for a loop, and everybody for a loop. It's very good. All right, so looking at when I get in here, lickety split, because that's how we do it. And uh, let me go over here and make sure I have my boilerplate, uh, so that we can make this a fun and interactive time into the maelstrom of madness that's right very very good so we can get into our activity all right let's see here we got a crowd showing up tony Steele is here very good and as i start this i'm going to remind you after this stream is over you guys make sure to go check out empire precious metals he does an auction every sunday night so check him out when this stream is over appreciate it or Shoot, he's probably a lot more exciting than I am. He might just want to go there now and check him out than hang around here. It's very entertaining. Hey, good to see you. Hey, Yankee Stacking is here. Good to see Yankee. Another great channel. He does live streams as well. Does Praying with Yankee. And does um, some good stuff over there to the Yankee Stacking channel. Check him out too. Hello, Yankee. Good to see you. And good to see Tony Steele is here. Good evening to you. So let's... So let's get into these comments here. Father Schwab says, been following you for many years and my reasons for stacking haven't changed a bit. We have seen what is coming for a long time. I didn't see Trump coming, but I'm glad he did and thank God for him every day. Well, Father Schwab, I very much appreciate you watching and I share the same sentiments about Trump for sure. Um, if he runs in 2024, I'm definitely going to vote for him. No question. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Derek Card says they are already confiscating gold. I believe gold is going to 15 to 20K the ammo uh, by the government buying a whole bunch of it like the Social Security Administration did um, years ago. A few, few years ago, that could cause some issues for sure. Very good. All right. Good to see Nose Maddox. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, Nose. All right, Gold Maple says here, as we wait the markets to open, we'll get a few of these comments down here. Many of cryptocurrencies today, Bitcoin, XR, XRP, Litecoin, are already showing wide up and down swings in prices. So imagine if countries of the world actually made all their currencies cryptocurrencies. These swings are wider than the swings we have experienced under the fiat and gold standard. This is a recipe for disaster if the Fed goes this route. Well, the thing is, is uh, they would set the standard. Uh, right now, the cryptocurrencies are operating under free market conditions. But if the governments go towards it, they're going to do their own blockchain and their own coins, uh, their own Fed coins. So they'll be able to control that. Now, mind you, anytime they digitize or create more of anything, they will devalue, but they'll be, they'll be able to control it just like they are with the dollar. They are essentially controlling the inflation so far. In other words, it's not out of hand, but it's there. And uh, I think that it's only a matter of time before it runs away from them. Um, and that's what they're skirting at the ver on a very thin line in that regard. Um, because every time you print or digitize more of something, and that's what's happening with the dollar, by the way, uh, there's not as much being printed as they are being digitized and moved into the markets like the stock market. And, uh, and overseas. That's where a lot of the dollars are. That's what's propping up the stock market, really. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. Good to see Doctor Who. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Electrodynamic Orb is here. Donald in New Mexico. Okay, yeah. yeah if you press the uh, settings button and go to 720, select that. It should show up fine. Very good. All right. Jim M says, silverback dollar, we all win. Yes. And the silver standard, right? The silver, a bimetallic standard as we once had. Um, and I think that could work if it's done the right way. But I think if they do have a standard, that's my whole point of that video was 
is that if we do have a gold standard again, and a silver standard, we should still be able to buy, sell, and trade precious metals, in my view. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, David C. says, Well, I'm glad the president of Mexico is willing to back the Mexican peso with precious metals to avoid the fall of value against the dollar once the dollar takes a dump. So no confiscation there. Well, yeah, I guess they've recognized the Libertads um, sort of has money. That's why you can get them at the banks. At least some banks you can get them at. We've seen that last year. Very good. All right. Okay. Hello, Blue. Good to see Blue. Welcome, my friend. Hope you're doing well, sir. Yes, indeed. Good to see you guys. On our Sunday night market watch, we'll look at the markets when they open up and see what they're doing. We still have a few days. And this chair is still squeaking. I did spray more WD-40 on it, but it's still not just not happening. I don't know why. Don't know what's causing it. Uh, Dr. Dog Will Hunt says, never sell gold and put your emergency money in it. It's meant to be passed down to the next generation. Same for silver, but I'd sell some in an emergency. Uh, and really, that is the point. Um, is, you know, to have it just in case of an emergency. But, you know, hey, the people have different reasons for selling, but I don't think it should be sold on a whim no matter what. I agree with you there. But if there's an opportunity for you to either profit from a big price movement upwards, if you feel like the, the that the price is going to come back down again, and I can understand you taking your profits. But we'll see here. All right. Benny Barker, is somebody going to call Sal? No, uh, not that I know of. Uh, the scammers typically don't call me on Sunday nights, so we'll see here. All right, a few more minutes here. We got one minute to six, but uh, sometimes it takes a little while for these uh, markets to show up and refresh over at Kitco, so we might wait till 6.02 for them to show up here. Who who controls the space controls the universe. There you go, Kevin Thornton. I guess that would be God, right? American Trucker says, On that kind of history won't repeat itself in this new age. I'm sure there will be a lot of con contingencies to prevent what was about to take place in the past and what did pl take place in the past. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's they might just sneak it in as a different type of thing. But anyways, let's see here. Ronald Gartner says, WD-40 is not a lubricant. Okay, all right. I mean, that's why this thing is still so weak, and I need to get a lubricant. Maybe some oil or whatever. I don't know. It's more like a cleaner. Very right, good. Okay. Cowboy Gold says, The one who owns the gold makes the rules. The one with the gold will definitely be smelling like a rose one day. That's true. Very, very true on that. Dickie Dunn says, Gold-backed dollar feds had to raise gold price to put more dollars in the monetary system. Yes. Yes, all right. That's what happened. Very good. All right, let's see here. And Daniel Grubb says, I don't understand why JPM is holding such large amount of gold and silver. I've never heard a convincing explanation rather than the usual platitudes about gold is money and fiat is garbage. What is the future that JPM is preparing for? Well, they do hold uh, such a large amount because they're the largest custodian. In other words, they hold it, but um, it is representing the SLV. Now, we know there's a lot more contracts than there are the silver to back it, back it up, but, but they have basically um, created this large, um, uh, I guess, this large pool of silver uh, derived around the SLV. So I think that's why. Very good. But they technically don't own that silver. It's the traders uh, that, that is behind it that own it. But I don't know. I guess there's no other uh, large bank that has that big of a spread with, with other. I mean, there's Sprott, the PSLV. Um, but there's not much other competition out there for sure. Silver Drill Pickle, good to see you. Hugh Man is here. Good to see you. We've got, uh, who else is here? And Jamie Fox is here. Good to see Jamie Fox. Welcome, sir. So here we are. We're at 602. Let's see what the market is doing now. They have just now opened up in Asia. And it is open. And so far, gold is the only one that's up. Up 40 cents. Just a slight increase for gold. 
and silver is down two cents. Very slight dip for silver. Platinum is up is down three dollars, and palladium is down seventy six dollars. Wow! And so there you have it. Pretty crazy to see. Welcome. Hello. Good to see Silver Bean Counter is here. Good to see Silver Bean Counter. Check out his newest video of a really cool bucket list item that he got. Wonderful video, and congratulations to him on that. To see what it is, check out the Silver Bean Counter channel. Yes, indeed. Good stuff. Ned Flanders is here. Good to see Ned. So, yeah, there's where the markets are right now. Gold slightly up 40 cents, 0.02% increase there out of the starting gate. And silver is down just ever so slightly. So we'll keep watching these markets. Um, we do live in exciting times, seeing the prices where they are right now. I mean, good grief, silver is really on the cusp of breaking 28 again. If it stays there for any amount of time, I think we'll start to see some movement in a and continued positive territory. But I think probably gold may end up carrying it. We'll see here. Inflation's certainly going to play a role in this for sure. Um, on some level. Finding Kino is here. Good to see Finding Kino. Welcome, welcome. I'll take a slurp of some coffee to bring Terry and Barbara aboard. And maybe Gold Chip too. Native Stacker is here. The wonderful Native Stacker. Welcome, Native. Good crowd here tonight so far. So let's get back here to the channel comments and see what else people are saying before we go back to the markets. All right, good to see Gold Maple, who is here now, saying, what's up? It says, the failure of the League of Nations was more due to the collapse of the world economies during the Great Depression, the rise of fascist movements in Europe and the Republican opposition in Congress, led by Senator Henry Cabot Lodge from Massachusetts, to the U.S. joining the League of Nations. Yes, I guess I saw it as kind of a globalism. But, you know, the thing is that the United Nations, for all intents and purposes, is pretty much inept. Uh, they do very little, uh, and nations that don't abide by them get very little punishment. Um, it's not the best, most, um, it's not a very effective body, in my view. And all it does, I think, is punish is first world nations and rewards third world nations and some, to some extent dictatorships. Indeed, very much. And they're very much anti-Israel, which I don't like. Uh, let's see here. And American Trucker says, I believe fiat currency is being set up to compete with gold-backed currencies such as the Federal Reserve note versus the U.S. Treasury notes backed by gold or silver. Cryptocurrency, I believe, will have two parts. On the part of public jurisdiction, there will be regulations on the part of local private jurisdictions that I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how this is all set up. Um, in any event... Because it is digital, and because they're moving that direction, once it goes digital, it can be very easy to change and, uh, and evolve once it does go digital. And the evolution will be towards more centralized control and power of it and tracking of it, which is scary. Uh, for sure. Trixie McGee says... It's only good of 100% backed in gold and never changes from 100%. The bankster's product is debt. Their tool is fiat currency, soon to be CDBC. Their mark is you. Opt out of the bankster's con game. Physical silver is the solution. Well, that's right. I mean, that's why it's good to have some physical because you are protected. You have an insurance policy, a layer of protection with the silver and gold that you hold um, to essentially... Uh, declare your independence, at least for part of it, uh, from the system that we are all a part of, uh, at least at least as, a, as an insurance policy against it. All right. Very good. Let's see here. And moving on up here. Gray Fox says, the best metals to back the system uh, would nickel or copper coins are already made of them anyways. And nickels are worth six cents, by the way. That's right. Yeah. Well, I tell you, uh, copper especially is money. Uh, nickel is used as money very little. 25% of the nickel is, or 25% of the nickel is copper. The rest of it is, or 25% of the nickel is nickel. The rest of it's copper, 75% copper. Hello, Freedom Stacker. Good to see you. Freedom is here with the first super chat of the night. Thank you, sir. Welcome aboard, my friend. 
and good to see the stacking nerd is, is here as well. Welcome to the stacking nerd. Hope you're doing well tonight. Yes, indeed. Glad to have you aboard. Very good. Well, let's get a few more comments and then we will um, peruse the markets again and see what kind of movement and activity that we're having here. But before we do that, we do have an MMA matchup by Kalonic Stacker, bassist Steve DiGiorgio, and Patriot Tucker Carlson versus the entire band Gojira. Well, Gojira are environmentalist wackos. Um, they're a good, talented band, but because they're environmentalist French, they're a French band of envir environments. Uh, but since that's the case, I'm going to have to go with bassist Steve DiGiorgio, who is absolutely an amazing bass player for sure, and Tucker Carlson, who is is hitting home runs on his uh, program for sure. Yes, indeed. So hands down, it's got to go to those guys. All right, very good. Good tag team. Good to see Lowell. Lowell Gettys, good to see you. Thanks so much, my friend, for being here. appreciate the kind words. Making some coffee, Ronald Gartner is. Yes, indeed. I'm slurping some coffee as you make some. Is Alan Gold here? Alan Gold, let's see if Alan Gold says something nice. You know what my grandmother used to always say? If you don't have nothing nice to say, say something anyway. So I want him to say something anyway. Let's see if he does. All right. <clears throat> let's see here. Very well said. Salivate says Steve A-U-A-G. Well, thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. I think you get what I'm meaning. There was somebody who uh, commented um, uh, on here. Somebody who uh, is a regular viewer says, you've gone you've gone full libtard. And I'm like, how is this video libtard? What did I do say in this video that makes you have any inkling of, of that? Uh, it just doesn't make any sense. I have a feeling he didn't, um, he didn't um, watch the video. He just saw the title. It says that just because that... It may not be a good thing because I don't think at all, but you have to watch the video and see the nuance of it. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Some people can uh, take the time to write a comment uh, that's completely accusatory without actually watching the video to get the what I'm trying to say in it. All right, let's see here. Good to see everybody here. We've got Gold Chick Viber fellas here. Cameroon uses aluminum, but makes up with it by the artwork. Yeah, that's right, for the coins. Very good. Sal is lib and anti-metal. There you go. Yes, indeed. I've got to tickle the ears. That's right. Cowboy Gold. Alan Gold. Oh, my goodness gracious. Full slurp a slurp publican. There you go. Dr. Web Music is a full slurp publican. I like that. I like that. Sal is purple hair and answers to they, them. That's right. I identify as a purple hair. That's right. Exactly. Very good. Sal is a complete fraud, says says Alan Gold. That's not very nice of you to say. I must, I'm must. i going to go ahead and say, I'm going to take that as a, not a compliment, Alan Gold. Yankee stacking. Hey, Sal, I was over at uh, another overtaxed taxpayer live stream, and he wants to challenge us both to push-up contents. You in. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yes. Um, live right now. We're going to do that right now. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. All right. Yes, I am in. I bet you that he can beat me in the push-up contest. But yes, I am here. Tell him I'm in. Uh, but my guess is uh, he's going to beat me. He's a pretty big guy. So, you know, muscular, you know, and in shape. All right. Very good. So let's see. All right. So what do we do there for Yankee? Just let me know. But tell him I said hello to another overtaxed taxpayer. He's a good guy. Another overtaxed taxpayer. The Manganeteer says, awesome video. Just subscribe to your channel. Thank you so much. The Magneteers, I appreciate that so much. It means a lot to me. Very, very cool. Okay, I'm not getting your notifications. Oh, I'm sorry, Silver Scientist. Yeah, sometimes they don't work. I know for the last week or so, I don't think the notifications have gone out. My views have been down. The algorithm has not been catching the channel, but that's okay. It happens. Um... And uh, But just know I always stream on Sundays, on Tuesdays and Fridays at 6, except for this past Friday. The band had a gig. Um, but uh, yes, indeed. But uh, yes, but other than that, I'm typically on the clock. Or, you know, I'm on time with the live stream. So yes, indeed. Appreciate it being here. All right, let's see. And Gold Maple says here, 
I honestly don't know why people were supporting Ron Paul, Senator Ron Paul's father. He supported taking the U.S. back to the gold standard. I don't Americans understand this would entail for the economy? There were many idiots supporting Ron Paul when he was running for president way back in 2012. Um, yes, well, I think that if the gold standard done in a correct way or as part of a rules-based monetary system like what Ted Cruz uh, supported, I think it would be good. But we need to kind of... Um, uh, what is the word? Restrain the restrainers of the gold standard too. There needs to be accountability on all levels. All right, good to see Slacker Stacker is here. Good to see Slacker Stacker. Welcome, my friend. Yes, indeed. Welcome. Glad you are here. And Love Button is here. Good to see Love Button. All right, very good. Okay, Donald Trump does not like globalization. Well, tough luck. Globalization is here to stay, even. The Biden administration has to accept globalization. Um, yeah, but the thing is, is, when we declare independence by having gold and silver, there's a part of us, part of our financial system that is outside of the of that system, and I like that idea. Alan Gold thinks that I'm consistently terrible. I'm going to pretty much take that as not as an insult. I think it's safe to say that Alan Gold is insulting me. Is that a safe assumption? Press the number 44. If I'm assuming in the correct manner that Alan uh, that Alan Gold is insulting me, while we do that, let's take a look what the markets are doing. All right, gold is flat now, guys. Gold is flat, just like Alan Gold's butt. He's got a flat butt. I know it. I just know he does. Um, and it's a zero dollars movement either way, shape or form. 1881 silver's down four cents now. Platinum is flat at 11.72 and palladium is down 5 bucks guys. $5. It's down, all right? All right, we have confirmation folks. We've got confirmation that Alan Gold definitely is insulting me. We have taken a, a very scientific poll here and it is we've come to the conclusion that it indeed has happened. My thin is getting skinner all the time. Wait a minute. I mean my skin is getting thinner every time and each one of his insults just chips away just all the more at my at my psyche at my uh well-being it's 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 in other words it hurts my feelings even more every time he does it all right good so just so you understand all right let's make that it hurts just a little bit more it's like a dagger in the like when the dagger hit uh frodo in the chest you know it was like crazy are you going to take that from Alan? Yes, I think I, I think I am. Um, yes, indeed. Another day has a correct. Alan G loves Obama. I think he does too. He's been saying bad things about Trump lately. Push-up challenge. Yes, there we go. I'm not holding out much hope that I'm going to win this thing. That's for sure. Poor Dow. I know. Silver bean counter. Man, it's just... It's just more platinum, more cowbell. I, exactly right. Very good. Okay. Uh, Donald Meadows says, I think a quad metal system, platinum, gold, silver, and copper is the way to go. The issue is, honestly, there is likely more available gold than silver out there, but that's just my opinion. Yeah. Um, well, I hate to break, and I don't mean to just be dis, uh, di disagreeable to be disagreeable, but there's no way, shape, or form in any scenario ever, that there is more gold than silver out there. There's much more silver than gold. Um, I know that that myth has been uh, perpetuated by some channels out there. Uh, one big channel that, that says it, and they are doing a disservice to their viewers, making people believe that silver is actually rarer than gold. In no way, shape, or form is that the case. Uh, just so you understand. Always good to do your own due diligence and research on that stuff. Uh, but uh, there's no evidence of it in any shape or form that I've been able to find. They're very good. All right, staying hard. There we go. Sal is a Dave Mustaine of the Stacking Channels. Hello, me. Meet the real me in my Alan Gold's way of life. There's something that I like him to read, and that is Reader's Digest. That's all right. Very good. All right. Uh, Chester Johnson says, gold and silver are money. Everything else is credit. All right, and actually, that J.P. Morgan um, said that about gold only, but I believe silver is money, too. All right, very good. 
a treasure seeker. I applaud you, Sal. Brave words. It's hard uh, to call out such craziness that has been normalized. Yeah. And, you know, and the thing is, I like to look at the nuance of things. And, um, and I know when Cowboy talked about this, you know, I, it kind of got my attention for sure on it. But very good. Good to see you guys. I appreciate you all being here. We got a good crowd here tonight. Yes, indeed. I wonder if um, Yankee... Uh, if Yankee has um, found anything from, I can't see another overtax taxpayers thing right now. But uh, if he's got any report on that or anything about this super push up challenge, probably shouldn't be doing it on a Sunday night for the market watch. But there's not a whole lot of activity. The markets, well, they're kind of, well, they're now gold is down slightly, down 40 cents, 1881.30. 30. I think it's going to hit 1900. I think it probably will this week. Benny Barker posted a scooter. That's pretty cool. Like Scooter Libby, you know what I mean? Very good. All right. Is Jamie Diamond still stacking? Oh, man, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, man, not sure. Sheep, Sheep Network now. Hindsight is always 2020. Looking back, it's still a bit fuzzy. That's right. Exactly right. Sheep Network now. Very good. Especially last year. It was crazy. Uh those Maddox, I'm just here for the push-ups. There you go, brother. Butt plugs live matter, says Sir Law. There you go, exactly. All right, good to see the lovely gold chick vibe fell with us, by the way. She's here. And Ed Kuga is here. Hello, Ed Kuga. Good to see you. Carl Starr, nice to see you guys. So there's where the markets are right now. Let's get back to the channel comments. Sai Gama says, gold and silver always been world currency for the new generation of stable coins backed by rare metals will be the digital currency. All right. Backed by rare metals. We'll see. Let's see how it plays out. I mean, it could be a very positive thing. I might just be being negative Nancy on it. But like I said, anything man touches has the potential to be uh, have some issues. So Donald Trump fought against globalization by continuing an offensive endless war in Afghanistan. But Joe Biden finally put troops uh, uh, out is not acting as America first. Why don't conservatives care about the roughly $800 billion we spent on needless defense and offensive military presence? Well, actually, it was Donald Trump who set the timeline uh, to have the troops come home from Afghanistan. Um, and he wanted to get them out much sooner. But, you know, the thing is, is you can't just pull out just right away for things like this. But at the same time, we also can't be nation building either. Uh, but really... Under Donald Trump's presidency, we've not had any wars. Um, the biggest military operation they had was early on finishing up and cleaning out ISIS, which is definitely necessary. But other than that, there were no wars under Donald Trump. All right. Okay, let's see here. Ronald uh, Gartner says, The gold-backed dollars of New Hampshire... Utah and Denver is proof that we, will, we that we can go back to a gold standard. Well, those are uh, gold notes that are separate from the dollar. They aren't dollars. Um, they are metals that are done within those states, can be utilized um, as currencies. Uh, but yes, indeed. But hey, it's a, it's, a, it's a step in the right direction for sure. Welcome, guys. Glad you're here. All right. Where are we at? The treasure seeker, he says, as far as trading silver for gold, Sal, I'm just not sure about it. With silver being as undervalued as it is, it could result in a serious loss to the silver stacker. Trade that silver in, then hyperinflation hits, then suddenly the ratio narrows in a major way. Um, and yes, I can understand that too, and that is potentially could be the case. Um, but we just don't know. Um, exactly how that's going to play out in a scenario. I do think there's room for it to narrow some, uh, but you know how that will that play out in a hyperinflationary sense? I'm not sure. Uh, really, that's kind of tough to really measure and see, because I think in a hyperinflationary sense, you have more at play than just a rising spot price. You also have uh, premiums that are going to be out of this world too, probably. And the demand will be 
greatly. I mean, it will be huge. Hello, Illimited Knowledge is here. Good to see Illimited Knowledge. And Bo Stacker is here as well. Welcome. This darn thing. Well, let me paste this, paste that thing in there. Very good. Uh, yeah, Sky Pilot. Yeah, they're the gold backs. Silver Wolverine needs more gold. I know. I hear you, brother. Me too. I'm right there with you. Uh, D.W. Rutson Sargent says, I remember history when Roosevelt stealing people's property. Yes. Uh, I love the beauty of the precious metals and vests, what I call them, many works of art. That's right. Tell me that the St. Gon's $20 gold piece is not a work of art. It's crazy. It's good stuff. TP is a new gold, says CCT. Ace is up. Silver is here. Good to see you. TNT Cycles PDX is here, too. Says, play it safe, stack silver, gold, and lead. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Ah, this coffee's delicious. Mmm, good stuff. Now, Joe Morton says, if done wrong, a gold standard will be a gold heist. Sad but true. Exactly right. It's got to be done the right way. For sure, good point. Wayne Burbrink says, started a few months back, stacking silver, only amassed 45 ounces now. I'm going to sell off some collectibles to buy a few one-ounce gold coins, even at these high prices. Fowls an old newspaper at my grandmother's office, and gold was $400 an ounce. Yeah, crazy. And that really wasn't that terribly long ago when, when gold was at $400 an ounce, when you think about course of time. For sure. All right. What's happening now? Uh, looks like gold is back in the green again. It's been hovering around a little bit there. Down a little bit. Up a little bit. It's up just 20 cents. Silver's down 3 cents. We've not seen a positive territory for silver at all tonight so far. By the way, hello. I am Crypto. Good to see you. All right. Platinum is up $6. You're not munching on activated almonds tonight. Actually, actually, I've got this this dark chocolate with almond bits in it. It's good. All right. Nescafe Gold Sal. Numb Nescafe Gold. A natural health little banana bread. This is black silk coffee. Yes, indeed. Hello, the blind silver stacker 47. And good to see you. Good to see Ziggy, too. Welcome, guys. We're doing our market watch tonight. The markets have opened in Asia. <clears throat> We're tracking them. They are moving every which way. But loose. The gold to silver ratio has now widened to over 68 to 1 now. And that's frustrating for silver stackers to see that widen. Uh, but it's crazy. That's where it is. Because gold has really been taken off here. In the last week. And silver is still up. I mean, but it's just not performing as well as gold has. Uh, slacker Stacker, the kitties are doing very well. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed. Getting older, but they're they're hanging in there, brother. Yes, indeed. I'll once in a while post post at the end of some videos uh, one or the other kitties. Typically not together, but yes, indeed, they will be there. Hello, Ed Mole. Good to see you. Black Silk is my brand. So good. Yes, indeed. I love that Black Silk stuff. Good stuff. Over here... Sunday night live chat. Is this the new night? Oh, man. Yes, over here. This is the same old night. We're back to the regular schedule again. Ah. Another $40 before Cyber Current Twitcher can break even on his buffalo. Well, I hope it does that for your sake. But I hope it goes lower so that we can get more gold. Both of us. All right, very good. Yes, indeed. 2009 was a $1,000 barrier. I remember those times. Is that when I was looking for the ultra high relief and started to climb up? It's crazy. The cats are fake. That's right. They're not real. It's all that's a deep fake, the cats are. Fred Flintstone says, no way I can buy an ounce of gold. Uh, I do have a decent silver stack. It would take me three to five months to save enough for an ounce of gold. What would you recommend? Goldbacks, maybe? Uh, that's a way to do it, but I think a better way to do it is fractional Mexican. The dos pesos, the dos y medio pesos, the five pesos, the ten pesos. 
or the 20 pesos. Typically, those are low, or the LMU gold, the Latin Monetary Unit gold, the 0.1867 um, coins. I actually did a video about this very subject. And um, so, yeah, you can get those gold coins for not a whole lot of, of premium. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's a higher premium now for everything these days in the precious metal sphere, but there's less of a premium for those coins. And that's indeed. All right. And Sovereigns. Thank you. Thank you, Stacking Nerd. Sovereigns is another one as well. Can't forget about the Sovereigns. All right. Yeah, the 20 francs are good. The Swiss Helvetias are awesome. And they sure are. I love the Swiss Helvetias. Let's get back here. If you don't want a gold standard, you're cray-cray. And I never said I didn't want one, by the way, just so you understand. Some people misinterpret because they just read the title. I'm not saying Bama did, that some people are commenting and thinking I'd that I don't want a gold standard, and it's not a good thing. Keep in mind that there is there has already been a soft confiscation of gold going on for the last twelve to fifteen years. But how is that? How has there been a soft confiscation of gold? I'm not seeing any evidence of that whatsoever. Remember the popularity of the we buy gold stores everywhere. And mail in your uh, whole jewelry and we'll send you a check. It's that easy. All that gold went to refineries and ended up in government hands. Um, okay, I don't know that that's the case. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'd like to see evidence of that. I would be very interested to see. I think that's how what could possibly happen with this. Is some of these big businesses get in bed with the government. And we're at a half more. I don't know if that's happening now. All right. I can get Mexican pesos at Taco Bell. There you go. All right. Kate Rock says, This stuff is very real. And it's just my thought that even though it's cool to show what you have in pictures and make comments, the only you can protect your privacy. Thanks again for all your info. There you go. That's right. Exactly right. Very good. Thank you, Ed Kua. I don't know if my thumbs up are, are reacting now, but if we can get over 140 likes, that would be nice. We have 140 viewers, so then maybe we'll see if we can get there. All right, we'll find out and see. Uh, let's see here. Alan Gold, Sal continues bashing precious metals. Know who you're supporting. Oh my goodness gracious. He knows he's just trolling me here. Fossil Metals is here. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Who else wishes they could afford all that gold Sal has? Oh, man. I don't know. Oops, oh, there's the Vs. Crazy, crazy. Me, me. The Vs. The Vs are making their way back. I don't know how that happened, but it's there. Well, there it is again. Let's escape out of this. How'd that happen? Man. We got a way to be able to take that stuff. All right. Benny Barker, I went my whole life and never saved squat until I found precious metals. There you go. It is a natural way to start saving and be able to enjoy your savings. Do you know what I mean? It's a way to enjoy your savings. 117 Rebel, I currently own about 90 ounces of silver and one ounce of gold. I'm hoping to add another ounce of gold sometime this year or next. Silver is just so much more affordable for me to stack. I understand. And I, I completely understand that mindset. The thing is, is... You know, as you start to accumulate some silver and an appreciable amount of ounces, then you have to take it to another level. I mean, or you should take another level to diversify with some gold. And there's ways to be able to do it, to be able to take advantage of that and uh, start out small and work your way up. It does take some discipline. It's a different type of discipline than for silver. Dove season, good to see you. Happy Sunday. Welcome. Glad you are here. Very good. Brian, I hit more silver coinage this week at the Coinstar. Man, that's amazing. Giving away three silver. Man, that's amazing. Wow. All right. Hello, Terry is here. I slurp in her honor. Where's Barbara? But we do have Terry. Welcome, welcome. All right. Thank you, Carlos Gonzalez. Welcome, sir. Good to see you. Yes, Terry is here. We got to behave. Big Flip Coins is looking in on us. Welcome. 
Part time prepper says, Interesting stuff, Sal. When and if they come for our gold means that life as we know is very much ending. It's a long shot, but possible, yes. <clears throat> well, I think they'll do it in a much different way than they did last time if they do it. Yes, indeed. Uh, we'll continue to slurp this thing. Yeah, where is Eric, Slacker Stacker? Good question. Where is Eric, our resident bouncer? Twisted Productions says, <clears throat> here on this video, very kind of him to comment. He says, great video. I was trying to alarm others. Silver should be more safe than gold because it has more industrial uses. Diversify your portfolio, gold, silver, and other precious metals, but also crypto and bartering items like water filtration, solar, alcohol, etc. That includes soap and uh, shampoo and all that stuff. Gold confiscated is possible, but it's hard for them to track all of it. This is not financial advice, just my opinion. There you go. Exactly right. Good to be diversified in, in all manner of form. Yes, indeed. Government intelligence agencies get from uh, these live chat comments. I think will be marched, marshaled. Yes, indeed. Well, you never know. I guess technically, I guess they could. You know, we'll see. I mean, there are a lot of these big tech corporations definitely meet with government officials. Um... And when you have that kind of thing happen, to the extreme degree, that essentially is fascism. That's what fascism is. All right. Silver Wolverine says, Slow Joe. Creepy Joe, my favorite pal. You ready for this 50 push-ups? Oh, my goodness. Brothers Bullion. Hello, 499. Thank you, my friend. I have to break those push-ups up. Uh, for sure, but we can get them done maybe in two settings. But I guess we, I guess the whole, the whole uh, challenge thing fell through with another another overtaxed taxpayer. We've not heard back from Yankee, so I don't know what the thing is there with that. But that's okay. Maybe another time. Hello, Dale Val. Good to see you. All right, Donald in New Mexico. Where did the man touch you? Maybe you can mention it to your therapist. He might use a doll that you can point. To the embarrassing places. Oh my gosh, crazy. All right, yes, indeed. Where is the man? Where did he touch me? All right, we've got breaking news. Alan does use soap and shampoo. All right, very good. So he does bathe. This is good news. All right. I don't, hey, at all costs, don't give up your gold to Slow Joe. That's right. It'll go directly to China and Russia. That's exactly right. It'll sell everything out to China and Russia. Old Slow Joe. Joe Biden. Man. Crazy. Uh, you got this. Oh, man. Oh, he's using Stormy's chat. Well, yeah, check out Stormy's chat, too. He is having an auction tonight. When we're done here, you guys go over there and tell him, tell him Sal sent you when this is over. Appreciate you guys being here. Donald in New Mexico. Sal is right, but not just with error and corruption. He is touched. Oh, my goodness gracious. Silver Wolverine, maybe the new gold eagles are chipped so they can easily get in or get it. It's much easier for them to find who has, uh, since most of us buy it online. The online dealers track every purchase you ever made. That's true. That's right. I'll have a video kind of talking about that for sure. And just where things could go. I mean, this is not saying this is going to happen. It's just an idea of where things could go with technology these days. Especially with quantum computing. I mean, it's very easy for them. And you really have to find a way to get that boat out there. Everybody's watching us worse than China here. Yeah. All the social already watching us. That's right. All right. What are the markets doing now? What are they telling us? Let's refresh this page and find out. Well, so far, gold and silver are down. Platinum and palladium are now showing some recovery. Gold is essentially flat. Silver is down a nickel. That's five cents for those of you in Rio Linda. Yes, indeed. Five cents drop for silver. Platinum is up a dollar, and palladium is up two dollars. When we look at the charts at about seven o'clock, 
we are going to see, uh, I believe, uh, a very interesting thing. We are going to see uh, this movement up and down that line. They are very good. Why is the mainstream media concerned with the mums of word? Yes. Yeah, I know. Exactly. Mums of word, especially with that pipeline uh, that was going on over there. It's crazy. Kind of is up a dollar. All right. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Where are we at here? Let's get back to the channel comments here. Did I go for illustrations? Savoy Truffle says, speaking of standards, uh, Joe has a manual transmission, which is nothing but standard these days. Um, the good news is that nobody will steal my car because nobody knows how to operate a clutch. Hell, the kids at the oil shop um, change, make me drive to the bay because they can't. Wow, very interesting. Yes, indeed. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I noticed the, the screen is freezing here, fading a bit. I noticed that on my end, too. I restarted my mode where I started this live chat. I don't know what's going on with the with a connection here. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to check and see what's going on here. I can check this thing a different way. Let's see here. See what's going on here with it. As it keeps kind of popping in and out. Am I having issues? Am I having any issues with the connection? Maybe it's Big Brother, right? Exactly. It's buffering. Uh, issue detected, potential problems. Uh, let's see, scanning the system, we'll see what's going on here. So there are issues with my connection. I, th I thought it was the modem, but it must be the connection in the area. Let's see, uh, Hack Sal again, it says Terry. And uh, John Bellinger, Sal, might uh, a gold standard be good? Alamo here, yes. Um, it could be good if it's done a correct way. Um, it needs something that has a lot of checks and balances. That's the only way anything is going to have, have, a, have a good. Yes, there are intermittent outages. Okay, son of a silver stacker. So is this something nationwide that's happening? Son of a silver stacker, it's not just me? Interesting. All right, very good. Thank you for that information. South switch parties. And he goes, screen pieces. Breeze is a spyware. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm going to try to see if there is something on this. See if there's a problem here. I'm checking offline somewhere. If somebody else has any information, see if this is something that's not just me. Maybe there are outages. No, everything is showing is okay from what I'm looking at here. But anyways, okay. Well, I think it's working okay right now, so we'll just keep going. Terry says, hello. Hello, Terry. You're here with us, which is awesome. Very, very good. Windows 95. Solar flare today. Oh, man, must be. All right. First on this video, the history of silver in the silver state. All right. Thank you, Gas Grill. Appreciate it. All right. Second, it says uh, Donald in New Mexico in this video. Very good. And Coin Dog says third. All right, nice. Let's slurp our way into madness as we look at the markets one more time. Let's refresh these markets. No movement at all. Very good. Coin Crew live stream was buffering about 20 minutes ago. All right. A lot of people are on the internet now. And WD-40 is a computer. There you go. It's Rush Hackers empowered by Slow Joe. Exactly. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. So there's where we are at. And this. let's go back to the channel comments again. Gold Chick says on this here. Let me get this thing going here. So we can read this in total detail here. 
Um, she says, Sal, this video has upset the entire Department of Treasury, including the IRS and lawyers, um, Department O, Justice, Civil Refund Division, and Organized Crime Prosecutors, the Fed, the Bank of International Settlements. Uh, most pirates just buried six feet deep. That's why a thousand years later, somebody finds a hoard. Better Addy, two-way Anon, not sending to the wind. Definitely stationary, no return Addy, Anon. That's right, exactly. Better to be careful. Um, son of a silver stacker, I turn the power off of my modem for at 30 minutes to three hours once a week. It keeps the bots away. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, at, at 30 minutes, yes. I try to restart mine every once in a while, but I don't turn it off, really. I just restart it by for a little while. Yes, indeed. I wish you could do that remotely, turn it off and then turn it on. I don't know if there's a way to do that. So Wolverine, no better time than the present to get a generator before our power grid gets hacked. That's true. You're right. Yes, indeed. Spray my chair. Yes, Terry, I did spray it down, and it's still doing it. Put WD-40 in. I guess I need to get some sort of lubricant. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what I need. Steeler, Steeler Stacker is here. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Ah. Okay. Let's see here. It works wonders. Okay, very cool. All right, son of a silver star. I'll have to do that. If I can find a way to restart it, to shut it off and then restart it, um, that would be pretty nice. The kind words. Plug your modem into a clapper. Then when you can walk by it and turn it on and off. There you go. I like it. There you go. Yes, indeed. Calvin Cooper, good Sunday evening. Good Sunday evening to you, Calvin. Yes, indeed. Better to be Calvin Cooper than Calvin Klein. Is it buffering bigly now? Yes. Oh, boy. Uh, Alt plus F4 will fix some of your problems, cause some others. All right. So we're back here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the internet. It's crazy. Uh, son of a silver stacker, uh, did you say that there's been a report of outages? Um, like, you know, nationwide or East Coast or something? All right. Bob S. says fifth on this one. Thank you, Bob S. Uh, let's see, you're still buffering. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. It sounds like it's... Uh, all you have to do is unplug the power cable and the modem when you go to sleep. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I could do that too. Stacking Nerd says, don't do that. I think we're getting mixed up in the conversations. Don't do what? Oh, Alt plus F4, maybe? I wonder what that does. Man, I'm kind of curious, but all right, I won't do it. Uh, press the off button. Plug it when you go to bed. But then the thing is, when I get up, I want the internet to be right there when I get up. You know what I mean? Because it takes about seven minutes for this internet to come back online when I when I do that. You know what I mean? All right. Very good. The audio is weird. Well, this thing is causing so much crap here. We'll see how it goes here. But I have restarted it for this thing. So we'll see. We'll get, go for a few more times. Uh, let's see here. This is a spam comment. All right, very good. We'll get rid of that. And Richard Metcalf says, it's pretty cool. One of the things I like about collecting as well as stacking is a history of the coin and who might have held it. It must be a little bit of a history buff. Yes, indeed. I do like history as well, too. Yes, indeed. Speaking of history, tomorrow goes on sale the Morgan Dollars, uh, the CCs, and the O's uh, privy marks. You guys going to get them? I'm going to try, I think. Hopefully, the internet will cooperate. You're the one starting trouble here. That's right. I'm the one starting trouble. CCT, just tell your boyfriend you have turned it off before you go to bed in case he needs it. There you go. Exactly right. I need to do that. My audio is always weird. Let's see. How do we gauge this? Crazy craziness with the internet connectivity here. 
It's insane in the membrane, it is. We will forge the head as we usually do, we try to do in these times. Ah, oh, yes, indeed. Very good. You all got to stick with me. Thanks for being here. Uh, so it sounds like it's not just me, though. Uh, but if anybody can confirm if it's uh, a regional thing and not just limited to to a certain area, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's a problem with YouTube, apparently. It's being reported there is a resolution buffering issues right now. Okay, thank you. So it's not just me. Thank you, Stacking Nerd. I appreciate that. All right, very good. Internettrafficreport.com shows multiple routers out across the East Coast and Canada. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. All right, so it's not just me. So we're all in this together. That's right, as illimited knowledge says. There you go. Our best gives some kudos on this. Thank you so much. History lesson, good stuff. Yes, indeed. We also announced the winner of the Silver Form uh, five ounce bar giveaway there. Silver Scorpion Super Info, thanks for sharing this out. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right, let's make this thing move. Okay. Phil Kula says, Don't never, uh, don't Nevada, my Nevada. Think apple, not avocado. All right. Nevada, Nevada, that's right. There you go. Thank you so much, Phil. New Ice Age is coming, says Outlaw Metal. That's right. All right, listening to Sal, I said, work out at Planet Fitness. Getting ready for the push-up challenge. All right, Sam, what is this push-up challenge? Uh, Yankee, so you're literally at Planet Fitness right now. Wow, that's cool. All right, man. You can probably beat me in push-ups for sure. But we're, this is between another overtaxed taxpayer and me. What is the deal with it? How does this work? Do you want me to do them now? How does this work? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see here. Rhonda Tolliver, the lucky one. Uh, Tolliver, 94 views, and I'm 18th thumbs up. If he was to buy gold next weekend, what it would be in fractionals and from where? Have a great evening. I'd probably get, um, I might look around for one of those um, L LMU or probably, I don't know if I could get another 20 pesos. That would be pretty cool. That would be fun. Another 20 pesos. Not now, all right? I win. Will the super, will the push up challenge come? Not now, all right? Silver says Maryland has almost 100% issues. Wow. Sal calls China's recent 7.3 earthquake with his push ups. There's what it was. I heart global warming. My money is on Sal. We'll get something live for charity. Okay, all right. Very good. All right, let's see here. We did a, a push-up challenge for charity uh, for Dean. We raised over um, $1,800, I think, for him. For, uh, for a new leg. For a new leg for him. That was a pretty fun time. Yes, indeed. Ah, I need to get in shape if I'm going to be doing this thing. What's shaking, strong man? Silver and gold? Well, the internet connectivity is a little shaky. But yes, indeed, that's what's shaking right now. All right. Phil Kula says, Poish, long E at the end, the silent. Uh, Tony Powell, okay, Tony Powell, okay, Poish. Or Poesh, I don't know, P, Piosh, Piosh, okay, thank you. Give him silver and gold, there we go, Hung Ngyanin, all right. All right, we've got Frank. Kavigia, good to see you. Good to see all you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Uh, MVL9591 says on this video, the history of silver in the silver state. I wonder how deep the veins of silver reach down into the earth. Mm, good question. A very good question. I don't know. Mm. Ah, good to see you. Silver Heist is here. Good to see Silver Heist. Medium Man forgot it Sunday. Yes, indeed. He's forgotten. We were here last night, too, Medium Man. And Wednesday night. I think we missed you there, too. Let's wreck the interweb, says Dale Val. Coins A to Z is here. Good to see you. Welcome, Coins A to Z. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, sir. All right. So, very good question, MVL9591. 
even if they reached down to the Middle Earth, down to Middle Earth, more than likely we didn't have the technology or the resources to get it there from there. All right. Cool, Uncle Sal. Thank you, Mark B. Appreciate you, brother. Cowboy Gold. How does a silver storm work exactly? Does it rain down 10 ounce silver bars? Yes, that'd be a good question. I'm not sure how that occurs. Must be something like that. Calvin Cooper is here. Good to see you. Calvin Cooper is amongst us here. Distributed denial of service attack. There may be too many newbies here. I maybe see. Uncle Sal slipping on lemonade, Mark Anthony. Actually, coffee, but thank you all the same. Yes, indeed. Good stuff. Thanks for being here, Mark Anthony. And Frank is still here. Middle Earth, Middle Nerf. Silver Smith. I have stock in several mining companies in the Silver State. Can't go wrong picking Nevada considering its silver history. That's true. Very true. Very good point. What's for dinner? All right. Beef is what's for dinner and more than four times a month. Yes, indeed. More than four times a month. Gold Maple says, a very interesting and informative Nevada is a very beautiful state. I did not know so much silver was produced in Nevada. I did watch a documentary on TV where you could visit a silver mining town. I forgot the name, but it was close to Lake Tahoe. Sal, did you know that the silver mining companies produced housing for their employees and even owned the stores where their employees could buy food? It does not surprise me. Those mining towns, they they went so quickly that uh, they almost kind of had to do that. Get that stuff up, and uh, yes, indeed. Very, very good. All right. Oh, let's see here. Let's move ahead here. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> we have got activity. Let's do this. Oh, what is Savoy Truffle telling us here? He's saying... Um, I'd love to move to Nevada, but they have rattlesnakes and also Rudy Schechner and on the, on all of the other scorpions. That's right. Rudy Schechner. Yes, MSG. Rocky like but there's no hurricanes in Nevada. So there is that, right? So you can't be rocked like a hurricane if you do move to Nevada. That's the one good thing about Nevada. You don't have to be worried about, worried about being rocked like a hurricane. All right. Need a slurp for Maria Chin. We're going to do it. We aims to please. That's what we're going to do right now. A slurp for Maria. And for Barbara, who's driving and listening. I think she's actually listening, believe it or not. Uh, no push-ups are done tonight, Nosematics. We will. I could do a push-up challenge. I'm open to that. You know what I'm saying? We'll do a push-up challenge. A dollar push-up. What do you think? What do you think? Or I might get desperate and do 50 cents a push-up. We'll, we'll see here. I need to get the blood flowing. We'll see if it happens. All right. We'll wait for that. In the meantime, what is Donald in New Mexico saying? We'll do this comment. Then we'll take a look at the markets. See what they're, what's been going on there. The lower portion of Nevada was part of the original New Mexico territory, as was all of Arizona. They owe us reparations. It was the earliest wealth redistribution. The rich always get their way. Wow. All right. A little history lesson there. But he blames it on the wrist. Very good. South Starter Crypto, Fraud Coin, fits perfectly with who you are. Actually, I almost had a chance to do that. Almost did it. There was a time when you could economically create your own little uh, coin. That's how Dogecoin was created, by the way. It was created as a joke. And I almost created Sal Coin a time ago. And who knows? Sal Coin could have taken off like Dogecoin did. And then I'd be laughing all the way to... Uh, Alan Gold's bank account. Lex Exlurp, there you go. Uh, says, uh, back to reality. Good to see you. Let's ex Exlurp. Coins A to Z have a big backyard with a nice moat around it. So if you need emergency store your stack, I'm okay to stash it for you. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. I'll duly noted. Duly noted indeed, Coins A to Z. I appreciate that. No takers on the push up challenge. But hey, we have Lucy stacks. One of our great Sal's gals is here. Lucy, we have missed you too. Welcome back. She posted a few videos recently. Check her out. Lucy Stacks, welcome. Good to see you, Lucy. So glad you're here. You are awesome indeed. 
Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Ah. Okay. Go Maple says, Nevada is known for producing some colorful characters. Kid Carson from Chorus Carson City and others. Yes, indeed. Bugsy Siegel, for sure. Yes, a lot of, a lot of colorful characters, for sure. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. CCT, I created a sal coin for you, but it was made from gallium. That's right. It just melted away at 86 degrees. That's exactly right. Sure did. That's right. Uh, fell down a crypto hole. Wow, I already got a crypto hole. Oh, my goodness gracious. Silver cell bought with your cash. That's right. Captron 78. That's right. That's the backing of it. Now, I could do a push-up coin, a push-up Bitcoin, or push-up cryptocurrency, where you donate 50 cents a push-up. Alan Gold, you start. Alan Gold, donate some super chat money for my push-ups. Why don't you, Alan Gold? You do it, you dirty... Dingleberry, Dingleberry. Alan Gold is a dirty Dingleberry. There's no question about it. It's reality. And I think he should donate $20 per push-ups. That's what we're going to do. Uh, for everybody else, it's 50 cents a push-up. All right? All right. No takers. No takers. All right. <laughs> Good. All right. Let's see here. We have another one. I think it's Super Dad 006. Let me see here. Are we... I'm going to wait for this thing to run out here. Our connection seems to be have improved, though. Many people have been arrested for fraud of crypto coins, so be very careful creating one. Yes, indeed. I will do that. Well, I'm not going to create one. It was a time where it was done, can be done pretty easily. It's not so easy to do these days. Yeah, it'll be $85 is pretty pricey. $65 sounds great. That's right. It really should be $65. It is pretty pricey. Rocky Superstar, good to see Rocky. The one and the only. Yes, indeed. Go for it. Alan Gold is a dirty dingleberry. That's right. He sure is. Yes, it is Super Dad. He says, awesome bit, my friend. A lesson to be learned just knowing how large the Nevada silver supply was and that they were able to deplete um, the entire supply in about 20 years with 1800s mining technology. Silver truly is, is limited and precious and undervalued. Uh, at least the easy gettings is. I'm still not paying these premiums for bullion. If I pay a premium, it will continue uh, to be for the numismatic deals like U.S. commemoratives. Yes, indeed. Well, and a lot of the U.S. old U.S. commemoratives you can get for uh, not a whole lot over spot. All right, very good. Let's see here. No takers on the 50 cents per push-up offer. Wow, okay. Man, all right. How about 25 cents per push-up? If nobody takes on that, then I'm going to have to do some for free. Oh, Lucy Stacks. Lucy Stacks. All right, there you go, Lucy Stacks. All right, we'll do hers at 50 cents per push-up. Thank you so much, Lucy. So that's 20 push-ups. Lucy, you're the number one fan. You are awesome. Thank you, Lucy. You rock. You are the bomb diggity. Shoot. All right, here we go. All right. Lucy, Lucy. Lucy in the sky with push-ups. Here we go. And this is for Lucy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right. Yes, indeed. For Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. All right. You were in the bomb. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. All right. Lucy has made Sal breathe heavy. She sure has. Yeah, that didn't come easy. But hey, I missed you. I missed you so much too, Lucy. We're so glad you're here. Always love, love when you post your videos. And always so positive and fun, fun when you're around for sure. And you're just a real person, which is awesome. Whew, busy day, but Lou made it. Good to see silver-loving Lou. I must be yoked. There you go, son of a silver stacker. I'm yoked to you guys. Indeed. All right, we got Donald New Mexico. It says, fake. And dove season joined me. Yes, indeed. And those push-ups are a lot easier for him. Yes, indeed. I've seen him. In his video shooting, he's definitely, he's a good fit guy for sure. Yeah, the calendar. I still need to do a little research on the calendar. And then I'm going to get back with you guys for sure. Um, 
So stay tuned. Watch your emails. I'm still waiting to hear back from two sales gals on the stuff. Hey, Nosematics. Whoa. Donald said fake fiat for fake push-ups. Oh, my goodness. Nosematics. $24.99. Wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's 50 push-ups. Okay. I'm going to have to do them in two sets of 25. Man. All right. We're going to have to raise it back to up to a dollar push-up now. Uh, when those Maddox, can I have your permission, Nose, to do 25 and then do uh, curls for the rest of those? Is that okay? All right. Let me see here. All right. Let me do let me do 25 push-ups and then I'll do the curls to honor the rest of that. They're very good. All right. Here we go. Let's see here. Here we go. Let's get into these push-ups right now for Nose. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, ah, oh, dang, wow, now that hurts, oh my gosh, all right, let me, let me take a breath here, and then I will uh, do the curls, okay, let's see here, let's kick and punch Sal, says Alan, that's, let's not and say we didn't, those are Zimbabwe dollars, oh my goodness gracious, no, you guys are great, thank you so much, Nose and Lucy, you guys are great. All right. Let me see here. Feature in 1987. Thanks for the history lesson. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you watching. All right. Let's look at the markets. What have they been doing since we've done that? All right. uh, dove season. I'm going I'm to be curling. I'm a weakling, dove season. I'm a little embarrassed to tell you. It's a 20-pound uh, dumbbell. It's not a very smart bell either. It's a dumbbell. So... Uh, so bear with me on that, but anyways, uh, let's see here. Gold coin for Sal push-up expert. There you go. So let me get to my breath here on this. So silver is stubbornly down. The only metal that's down now, it's down four cents. The ratio between gold and silver is now up to 68.42. Gold is up just 20 cents there. Platinum and palladium both up marginally. All right, very good. Curl this out. All right, so let's get so let's go to here. And what I'm going to do for nose to honor the rest of that pledge here, I'm going to do um, ten on each side, and then ten more on each side. Let's see here. Let's see here. Here we go. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good night, CCT. Have a good night, my friend. Appreciate you being here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's twenty all together. For nose and Rocky Superstar has just chimed in with a ten dollar super chat. Wow, thank you, brother. So I will do ten on each side for a uh, Rocky Superstar too. Let me finish these out for uh, nose quickly here, and then I'll get to uh, Rockies. We're gonna do ten curls on each side, each arm, for Rockies too. Thank you, Rocky. So I think we scared off Dove season with the, this lowly. 20 pound barbell sorry i'm a dumbbell for this barbell but all right i'm not a very strong guy i apologize one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on that side one two Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we've fulfilled my obligation to the great Nosematics. You guys should check out the Nosematics channel. We did 20 on both sides with a break in between uh, for a Nosematics, and now we've got Rocky Superstar. We're going to do 10 on each side for him here in a moment. Yes, indeed. Ned Flanders, I'm a strong smelling guy. Yes, indeed. Sal the Simp. I'm a simpleton. I'm the simpleton. Good evenings. Very good. Thanks, Gaz Girl. Appreciate you. He's a believer. And uh, I know uh, CCT had to head out of here. Sorry about that. Okay, there. CCT's still here. But CCT, thank you so much, my friend, for being here. You guys check out the Cyber Curtain Twitcher channel. Uh, he is the inventor of the great Silver Slide. Um, so you want to check out that CCT channel for that. If you're in the United States and want to get one, check out Mr. V. Mr. Vegeta, he has them. He can get you one. If you're in Europe, contact Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Right, who, who believes Sal is faking? Press 5. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm scared to see what this is. Old Coasty says, I'm pooped. I'm pooped. We've got some blood flowing over on this side of the screen. Over here, you said the Comstock Low was exhausted in 1880. The Morgan CC was started in 1878. Does that mean the 1878, 79, and 80, the silver use came from the Comstock? My guess is it probably did, or at least most of it, but it's probably not, not limited to the Comstock. It probably sourced it from several different places, is, is my guess. Sterling Cannabis is here. We are ready to fulfill the obligation owed to the great Rocky Superstar for that $10 Super Chat on each side. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit. And my biceps are starting to feel this a little bit. Oh, man. Shoot. Okay, another fake chat. Okay, here we go. Ten on each side for Rocky Superstar. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. The other side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, very good. We did it. We did it. That's the most exercise I've had all day. And I probably should have exercised earlier, but I did. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. You guys are great. Uh, Nose Maddox. Rocky Superstar, Love Button. I mean, um, Lucy Stacks, thank you guys. Appreciate it so much. All right. Very, very good. Let's see here. Mm. Ned might do 10 push-ups tonight. Very good. So there's where the markets are. We pushed silver down. We're suppressing the price of silver. I might try for silver Wolverine if I can remember. I need to make myself a calendar reminder to get that Morgan. I gave it a shot. One arm push ups, man. I don't know. Man, I tell you. Silver is still coming out of the comp stock. Stock silver load. Okay. I did not know that. Will the ratio widen between the metals, Maria? I think they will. Um, silver usually is a lagging indicator. And as we've seen it kind of rise, it was just 66 and some odd a couple weeks ago. But it, I think it's going to catch up. I think it's going to narrow some more. All right, very good. All right, there you go. All right, there you go. Dove season is getting a, a decent office workout this evening. Thank you, uh, Dove. And I apologize for the lightweight that I am. But at least I'm doing something, you know what I'm saying? But hey, thank you, Nosematics. I appreciate you too, brother. You are awesome. Say hello to Little Miss Pink Gloves for me. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Kenneth Harvey is here. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. So there's where the silver and gold prices are right now. And uh, they are certainly um, just hovering around there. Not a whole lot of movement tonight. There's been more movement with my body than there has with gold and silver prices this evening so far. So there is that. So, But that's okay. You know, sometimes this happens. We are um, get to a point where we will see gold and silver uh, start to move higher, I believe. We're going to see that before the end of the year. 
And, and uh, yes, indeed. Were those push-ups fake? I hope they weren't fake. No. Let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Okay. Let's get back and take a look at the... We're overdue to look at the charts here. And as we see gold, you can see how flat it is. I mean, not a lot of activity. Uh, it's just little blips, little sawtooth pattern there. Just kind of a flat little little fine sawtooth there. Kind of like one of those little little saws, you know, just a rip. Zzz, 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 zzz. Hey, thank you, Stacky Nerd. Have a good week. Appreciate you being here, Stacky Nerd. You are awesome. All right, guys. All right. Gas Grill is not in concerned. In fact, it's too much information to know about my body movements. I understand. Oh, my goodness gracious. Rocky Superstar says, Sal, faster. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to give Rocky 20 push-ups for that $10 super chat. Man, very kind of you, sir. Let's get rocking on that. While we do, Before we do that, I'll let you guys look at the silver chart. And you can analyze the crap out of that silver chart while I do these 20 push-ups for Rocky Superstar. He says faster, so I'm going to try to do these fast. See if I can make it happen. Here we go. For Rocky Superstar. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. There we go. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're about killing me, man. Good grief. Oh, my gosh. Take a deep breath and he floated to the ceiling. That's right. Ah, 20 in the can. All right. A ripoff, says B.R. Williams. Indeed. Ah, oh, those are getting harder to do. Shoot. All right, going into beast mode. <laughs> Indeed. Let's see here. So there's where the chart is. Silver has kind of been dipped down a little bit. Scroll up, you base turd. Let's see here. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, here we go. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, so you couldn't see that movement there. I should have scrolled up. Silver Wolverine, don't push silver down or there will be a subreddit group to short squeeze, salivate metal. We can't have that. Oh my goodness gracious. So I'm manipulating the prices. Boy, there is a lag time delay on this live. You still have not seen. There it goes. It finally went. Boy, that's crazy. I'm going to actually... If you put the playback speed at 1.5, it should catch you up to me. Rocky Superstar, are you ready for more? Oh, my God. I tell you what. I think the next one I'll do is shoulders. All right? I'll do... I have lighter weights. I'll do shoulders. If you do more, I'll do shoulders. Rocky Superstar. So I'll be ready. But i got to work a different muscle group, I think, Rocky. Yes. He's putting me to work, Rocky is. Uh, but anyways, yes, indeed. So I think I'm ready. If you're okay with that, Rocky, we'll, we'll try shoulders next, if that's all good with you. Oh, man. So there's where silver is. I'll leave that up in case there is movement in that category. Let's see here. But white first. All right. Or if you want to PayPal it, that'd be even better because there's no taxes or fees taken out of that. So every $10, I get about five of that. Maria Chin, Donald push-ups, catch a breath. Oh my gosh, are you Maria? Are you telling, saying that Donald should do push-ups, um, and that, and for me to take a breath? That's funny. Oh my gosh, thanks Maria, I appreciate that. Very kind of you indeed. All right, there you go. A little little shot across the bow to Donald, and for Donald to do the push-ups. There you go. Let's see if Donald is fake. All right, let's see her get on on the kill. Uh, no, Donald, she, uh, Donald, she's telling you to do push-ups, I think. Oh, my gosh, crazy. If I'm not mistaken, let's see here. <clears throat> oh, boy. All right, Rocky Superstar. There's another $10. All right, here we go. All right, let's do shoulders. Uh, let me find my other weights. Where did I have those things? Trying to find my other weights. I had them around here somewhere. Dang it, what happened to those things? Here they are. Okay. All right. 
shoulders. Here comes shoulders. Here comes shoulders. Uh, here we go. Shoulders, five pounders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And I'm actually very much out of shape with the shoulders. I really felt that. Really felt that. I'm doing them in the front now, too. Alan is sensitive. We're going to check gold here in a moment, Olaf. Stay tuned, Olaf. We'll check gold here in a minute. If you want to catch up to the chat, make sure this thing is going. There's been a delay. Uh, play it back at 1.25 or 1.5, and it'll catch up. If you experience a lag, pretty big delay. Let's see here. All right. Okay, thank you, Gold Chip, for being here. All right, we did our... Appreciate it. Thank you, Dove Season. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, these shoulders. i got to work these shoulders. And I'm sure I'm not... Uh, I'm sure I'm not doing it exactly right. So let's get, see here. What's going on with the whole precious metals? What are they doing? Gold is up 30 cents, up 40 cents now. Silver's now down one cent. It's trying to just break even. Hmm. Oh, Rocky Superstar. Hey, appreciate you being a good sport, my friend. Very kind indeed. Thank you so much for the super chats. All right. Getting paid to exercise like Gene Simmons here. And <laughs> go, Carl Starr. That's right. It's like Gene Simmons. That's right. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. All right. 68.35 now, the gold to silver ratio. And <laughs> let's see here. Let's get into some of these comments here. Gold Chick, Vibafel. The Nevada is number one gold producer now. Also, the Nuggets are much more uh, wishful than Cali or Alaskan or Aussie ones due to silver content. Electrum, there you go. Yes, indeed. Electrum Nuggets. I'd like to have some of that. That'd be cool. Yes, thank you so much, uh, Rocky Superstar, for the, for the super chats. Appreciate you, brother. Definitely, indeed. Do at least one real one. Yes, indeed. You work out with 100,000 ounces. A thousand ounce silver bars or one hundred ounce gold bars. Oh my goodness gracious! Yes, I would probably do the uh, one hundred ounce gold bars. A thousand ounces is about seventy two pounds. So man, very crazy. All right, let's see here. We're waiting for Terry seventy nine to super chat me. We're waiting for that. It's going to happen any minute here. Anthony, below, out of nowhere, Canadian twenty dollars. Thank you, Anthony. Appreciate that. Wow, very kind indeed. Canadian $20. And Anthony, I think you might be new here. Thank you so much. Very kind. Wow. Mm. We've got a new viewer just popping in, at least new to the live stream, with 20 Canadian dollars. Let's see, what can we get out of Canadian dollars? Let me do some more shoulders. And I do feel under underperformed in that area. Let's do some more shoulders. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Maria says, if I was going to buy something tonight, what would it be? Oh, man. You know, it just depends on how much money I had. If I had the money, I would like to get another gold coin. I might pre-order. I would probably pre-order the new Gold Eagle, the Type 2, if I could. But for silver, I would probably want to get, um, man, I don't know. I don't know what I would do, what I would get. Uh, let's see here. Um, probably one of those nine fine cast silver bars. I'll probably get some of those. All right, very good. Let's see here. I can't hi count higher than 25, says Native Stacker. I know, I hear you. Crazy. All right, let's see here. 
Ah. Tessie, I'm a bit of both. Got my 10 ounce and one kilo bars, junk silver, and some nice rounds. Avoid this type of silver if you are a silver stacker. Yes, indeed. All right, there you go. A bit of both. Nothing wrong with that. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's check her email. I just donated to you. Oh, yeah, all right. She's going to bait me. Let's see. There's no way she'd even just send me an email. Well, let's see here. Yep, nope, no email from... No email from... Uh, what's her face? Terry. That's it. Okay. Ah, oh, let's see here. Very good. Your limited knowledge. Buy the coin. Queen's Beast completed one ounce gold if you still can. I've already got it on order in limited knowledge. I have that on order already. Has not shipped out yet, though. Yes, indeed. Lick a fake push up. There you go. Hell Creek Trading is here. Good to see Hell Creek. Welcome, sir. Hmm. Yes, my shoulder's a little sore. Man. All right. Okay, Lucy Stacks, love you too. Appreciate you being here. Thanks, she says. Gotta go see you guys later. Love to all of her friends. Thank you so much. Lucy Stacks, you are awesome. You guys check her channel out. And we are near... We are near the, uh, the end of our live stream tonight. But before we guys go, I think that what we should do is do this here. Um... Let's see here. Let's go over here to um, Empire Precious Metals. Let's go here and let's bomb out the uh, live coin auction on YouTube for Empire Precious Metals. I sold my Bitcoin at 55800 Did I you sold hear that? I sold out of my Ethereum at... This is a salivate... Uh, a salivate, what do you call this? We're going to call the Salivate Empire Invasion. Say that. Go over there uh, to uh, the Empire Precious Metals channel. And let's do a an Empire, Salivate Empire Invasion. Let's see if we can do that. Just go to what I did, YouTube. Search Empire Precious Metals. It'll pop right up. This live stream. Um, Bitcoin's been all the way down to three thousand. Now he's talking about past. Bitcoin. It's crazy. To say that it's not going to go there again. So I don't know. Salivate metal. There he is. Empire invasion. What is going on, Sal? Well, I can try to get some folks over now. here. Sal is here. Holy cow! Thank much, you so very you much. might just be the only one here. I don't know. Like, we're going to call it a salivation invasion. There you go, Hell Creek Trading. I like that. So here's the link. Here's the link to it. There we go. And check it out. Goodness. Hey, look at Hell Creek Trading is over there. There it is. Let's explore. <laughs> there they are. All right. Plumber Stacker. Good to see Plumber Stacker over there. Terry's going to puke. Come on over, Terry. Come on over, Terry. You can do it. We are talking about silver. We are talking about silver. He does a better impression of me than I do. It's crazy. going down? But before we get into that, I am going to do... All right. There's Dove Seasons over there. Good to see Dove Season. One. Two. All right. Let's explore, Great. says Robert Pruess. Right. Very good. Got, got that. Got, got that. Look at All right, guys. Say, wow, you sound just like him. Kind of get down three to Bobby Boucher. All right. So there you go. He has a pretty good auctions. Very entertaining stuff. So check out. Uh, even You don't have to bid on anything if you don't want. You can just check it out. But you might find some stuff you, you enjoy and like over there. So he runs a pretty tight ship over there. It's pretty fun. And uh, so check it out over there. Insane in the membrane indeed. So there you go. Salivation Nation invades the empire. So there you go. Thank you. Silver Heist just posted that over here, too. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you very much, guys. You guys are awesome. Fabian is over there, too. Very cool to see Fabian there. And we will see you guys Tuesday. All right. Have a good night, everybody. If you're done here and want to have, some, have a good time, check out the Empire Precious Metals channel. Here is the link again. And, uh, for this video. I also post some great videos too, but there you have it. So appreciate it, guys. Have a wonderful night. A multitude of gratitude to you all. And I'll leave you with this sage piece of advice. And uh, and that is to keep your feet in the stars 
and keep reaching for the ground. And uh, so, yeah, so let's see if I can stop this without cutting myself off. Uh, so I let you know, Minning is busy, even do they say they close. Uh, I let you know, Minning, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Kenneth Stevenson, but thanks for being here. Thanks, Sheep Network Now. Good night, everybody. Have a good evening. Is Medio Man here? Let's make sure that I cut this thing off. I don't cut myself. I think I cut myself off too early last night. Anyways, all right, very good. All right. Good night, everybody.